welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a review on the L'Oreal Infallible Matte Lip Crayons. If you do want to see a review and swatches, please keep watching. This collection is brand new at Ulta. It comes in 18 different shades. I purchased 16 different shades and they retail for $11.99 each. I do want to read a little bit about these matte lip crayons on Ulta.com. It does say write your own rules and make them last. Introducing infallible matte lip crayon, L'Oreal's first matte lip crayon with lasting wear and saturated color. Enhanced with a decadent caramel aroma, infallible matte lip crayon is a smudge resistant with no feathering and comfortable wear. Mechanical tip provides easy application and one swipe coverage for a color on the go. Here's a closer look on what the packaging looks like. It says L'Oreal. And then on the back here, it does have what the shade name is. It's a shade number 500 Caramel Blondie. You have the shade name here at the top as well. And open these up. Okay, looks like we just twist it up. Here's what the matte lip crayon in Caramel Blondie looks like. You do get a lot of product. what the shade in 500 Caramel Blondie looks like. It's not as pigmented as I would expect it to be when we first swatched it on the back of my hand. This was super pigmented with one swipe. When I applied it on my lips, I'm not getting that super saturated pigment. There is a bit of fragrance, getting like a caramel smell. It's very faint. The next shade is called Lavender Honey. Here we have Lavender Honey. These are extremely soft. Let's go ahead and see what Lavender Honey looks like applied on the lips. I love how pigmented this shade in Lavender Honey is. This was definitely one swipe pigment versus the other shade. It's so pigmented and sits comfortably on my lips. The only thing I wish that it did not snap off. The next shade is called Tres Sweet and it's a shade number 510. This shade is so gorgeous, it can be my everyday nude shade. What I am starting to notice is that the formula is starting to be a little bit dry on my lips, which I didn't realize in the beginning. Definitely pair this up with a chapstick. The next shade is called Strawberry Glaze. Here we have Strawberry Glaze. I like this shade in Strawberry Glaze, but I did have to build it up a couple of times. Again, this is not one swipe pigment. Another thing I do want to point out about these mechanical pencils is that they snap so weird. Do you guys see that? The next shade is called Sweet and Salty. These are so hard to remove. Beautiful shade. Another shade that I did have to build up quite a bit. The next shade is called Caramel Rebel. Here's what this, wow, so pretty. This is pigmented as well. I can just tell by swatching it. Fiery red shade. I love this shade in Caramel Rebel. It's so pigmented. It's that fiery red shade, which I love. And I also love the shade in Lavender Honey. Both of these shades were extremely pigmented so far. The next shade is called Toffee Cherry. You guys know how I am about my berry shades. So pretty. Again, it's not one swipe pigment. I did have to build up this lipstick shade. The next shade is called Hot Apricot. Another pretty shade. Again, I'm not getting that saturated color. Oh, 
The shade in Hot Apricot is so pretty, but again, it's not that super saturated pigmented as the red shade was. This shade I did have to build. Another thing I do want to mention is that the applicator is so bad. It's not ergonomic. Some product is kind of coming out on the applicator. The next shade is called Brulee Every Day. pigmented. Here we have the shade in Brulee Every Day. The shade in Brulee Every Day is a true red shade. It's super pigmented like Caramel Rebel and Lavender Honey. The next shade is called Flirty Toffee. Flirty Toffee is so pretty. Flirty Toffee is almost like a reddish brownish shade. This shade was definitely one swipe pigment. The next shade is called No Fig Deal. You guys know purples are my favorite. Super pigmented. Definitely one swipe pigment. This shade is a little bit patchy. You guys can see right here on my bottom lip, it didn't apply as evenly. The next shade is called Sizzling Sugar. Here's what Sizzling Sugar looks like. This is a lighter purple shade. We have Sizzling Sugar not as pigmented as I would expect it to be. After building up this shade in Sizzling Sugar, I really do love it. Next shade is called Little Chili. I'm running out of arm space, so I'm just gonna swatch it on the right side of my hand. Very pretty red shade. I can't swatch that well using my right hand. Look how pretty. It's a pretty pigmented shade. One swipe pigment. As soon as I press my lips together, it does slightly come off. I just drank a sip of water and it does transfer. Keep that in mind as well if you guys are gonna be eating and drinking with this lipstick on. The next shade is called Spice of Light. Again, sorry about the horrible swatch. It's a beautiful shade. Very pigmented with one swipe. Spice of Life is this beautiful brick red shade. The next shade is called Chocolate Delight. It's this beautiful blackberry shade. One swipe pigment. The shade in Chocolate Delight is so pigmented. I did have to overdraw my lip just a teeny tiny bit. I'm not a huge fan of this applicator. It does take up a little bit of product when you apply the formula on your lips. It just gets on the applicator tip and then it just kind of gets all over my lips. It becomes a huge mess. So then I have to end up overdrawing my lips or just taking my damn beauty blender that has a little bit of my foundation left on it and go over it. I love this lip shade in Chocolate Delight. It's super pigmented. The last shade I purchased is called Cherry Rific. Here's what Cherry Rific looks like. Ooh, that is so smooth. And definitely one swipe pigment.
Again, I love how pigmented the shade in Cherry Rific is. I do like the colors in this collection, but I'm not a huge fan of the formula. It is super drying and it does transfer and it does rub off very easily. Another thing I don't like about these lip crayons is the applicator. I don't like how it's slanted. The product does come on the stick applicator too. When you're applying this to your lips, it just gets all over your lips. What I did like are these seven shades. So if you are interested in trying out these lip crayons, I do recommend these seven shades in particular because these were very saturated. The seven shades that I really did love was Caramel Rebel. I really also did like Chocolate Delight, Cherry Rific, Brulee Every Day, Spice of Light, Sizzling Sugar, and Lavender Honey, and they're one swipe pigment. These nine shades I did not like at all. They were not one swipe pigment. I did have to build them up a little bit. There was one shade in particular, which was Strawberry Glaze, which had that weird little turning effect thing. I think this one is broken. I'm not sure. And then it also comes out completely from the tube. That's something to definitely think about. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have tried this lipstick crayon by L'Oreal. I love the lip crayons by Maybelline. I would highly recommend that. If you guys have not seen that video, I'll link it right over here in the cards. I really thought that these lip crayons by L'Oreal would be similar to the Maybelline ones, but they're not. I will be wearing this shade in Cherry Rific throughout my entire day. I'll leave below in the description box how it works. If you guys did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video.